Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can automate your LinkedIn outreaching process in order to generate more leads and sales for your business. So here is the dashboard where you will be able to see all the stats for all your campaigns on a single page. Here on the top it shows what are the different stats for today, how many profile engagements are done, connect request has been sent today, how many messages sent and and the emails here in the blue graphs you will be able to see what are the different activities performed over the last few days here in the recent activities section you will be able to see what are the different activities that has been performed on different prospects you can see the different status like just is connected now so here you can see different status it shows last 40 of them here in the recent connected section you will be able to see the people who has connected with you on LinkedIn recently and here in the reply section you will be able to see the people that has responded to your request recently you can also send them a message on a single click so you can see what was the message sent, what what was the message received you can type in your message and send them the message on a single click system will automatically send them the message Let's move to the next section where you want you would like to create a new campaign So you get five options to start a campaign The first one is that you can copy the URL from the sales navigator or basic LinkedIn account paste it over here Select these two options either skip the profiles without picture or just extract the premium profiles You then you can start your campaign the second option is LinkedIn filter So we have provided some of the filters here which you can use to start your campaign then we have a complex query builders which you can use to filter down your data using logic operators then the fourth option is upload csv so you can upload your csv file from here to start your campaign and the fifth option is running an email campaign so if you just want to run an email campaign you can paste the sales navigator url over here to start your campaign so let me quickly start a new campaign maybe i just want to send the request to my first degree connections or message to my first degree connections mm, then i can put on the city as new york so and the country as united states of america moving to the next section here i get three options either i can view the profile i can send the connect request or i can send the message so as i'm just targeting my first degree connection i would like to create two three sequences i would like to view their profile first so profile engagement we system will view their profile from your linkedin account and they will get the notification that this person has viewed your profile then I would like to send them another message after let's say five hours with the text I can use some of the templates available right from here I can also in, use these options for personalization of my messages then I want to send them another message maybe after three days I can use the template again and this message will be sent to them after three days at any step if this person responded with your message system will automatically uh, stop over there because the reply has been de detected and the automation will stop for that specific prospect and you will have to deal them with them manually in case you are running uh, the campaign on your uh, not on your first degree but on second or third degree connections then you can also add LinkedIn connect uh, option over there which where you can put on your note over here you can put on your follow-up message here but as I'm running the campaign on my first degree so I don't want to put on the connect because connect will automatically skip for first degree connections moving to the next step here I can put on the name of my campaign here I can uh, put on whatever my uh, time zone I want to set so let's say I want to go for let's say Amsterdam I can select the, the duration between 8 in the morning till 5 p.m. I just want to target them within this duration time zone will be Amsterdam I want to send them the request show them all my messages from Monday to Friday I don't want to target them over the weekend 
and here is the overview of what I have done in my previous step I can put on the name of the campaign so first degree connections then I can click on the start campaign here is the list of all my all the campaigns that are running on my account so here are different prospects how many engagements done in what it accepted messages replies in mail so you can see everything on a single place let me go inside this campaign and I will show you the options you have which you can perform on different prospects so here you Here is the list of different prospects that are extracted based on this campaign. Here you can see this person has replied so the automation is stopped. Uh, this green icon shows that automation is running for this prospect and the yellow icon shows the automation is stopped for this specific prospect. You can also see the reply from here and send them the respond them back right from here. You can, some of the information about them have already extracted these green bar shows that these sequences are executed and these gray bar shows that these sequences are not executed so there are five sequences set for this campaign and it's so that there are five bars out there you can also move or copy your prospect to your different campaigns you can export the data into a csv file so uh, which will include all of your contact details of the all the leads then their company information then uh, the timestamps for when the different sequences was executed you can also remove the prospect if you want to so if you don't want to target anybody you can remove the prospect right from here here is the sequence that is set for for this campaign and here is the scheduler so you can update your schedule anytime moving to the next section which is a context section here it's a sort of a small CRM within the system where you will be able to see all your leads on a single place which are extracted based on different campaigns running on this account here you can see all the prospects you can also see their details so like for this person their their company details their personal details you can also you can also tag different but you can create the tags and assign to the people then you can do the best advanced search based on different factors available you can also target the people based on different criteria like if you want to target the people who has replied you previously you can also fit it down the data based on different tags and you can run the campaigns on the people so even if you want to run the campaigns on these two accounts you can click on them click on create campaign to start your campaign and you can also export the data into your csv file here the connection tab shows what are my first degree connections moving to the next section which is an inbox where you, you will be able to see all all the different conversations I have here you will be able to see the messages you can schedule the message you can send them the message right from here you can put on your internal notes you can save the messages you can tag the conversation you can filter by the tag you can search by the name of the person as well moving to the next section which is activity so here I will be able to see the list of all the activities that are uh, coming up based on uh, my different campaigns that are running on my account so here I can see all different prospect and what are the different activities that has been performed on them add to CRM button can be used to to add the prospect into your CRM on a single click I can see the date when the different activities was executed here is the account section where you can connect your LinkedIn account here you can set your daily limits so in regards to profile engagements per day in regards to sending the connect request per day messages and email you can also increase or decrease the limits as per your requirements our recommended limits are up to 50 for the basic LinkedIn accounts and up to 100 per day for the premium accounts you can also add the add the, uh, your new LinkedIn account from here you can put on your LinkedIn email password and you can select the, uh, the country from here system will give you a dedicated IP of your location so that just to make sure your account is secure if you're adding inviting your clients you can also invite your client from here so this will give them a send them a unique link where they, they will be able to connect their LinkedIn account without any need to sign up on LinkedCamp 
Moving to the next section, here you can see the integration. So here you can connect with HubSpot, you can connect with Hyperize. That integration is coming soon. Then here is the webhook. You can create the webhooks uh, for your campaign. You can put on the webhooks URL here. Some of the events are available. You can use them from here and select your campaign to add a webhook. Then you have a template section where you can create on your own templates. You, here is the list of different templates available like this one you can use then here is a placeholder you can create your placeholders it's a sort of short codes which you can use which you can create over here uh, and you can refer them while you're composing your messages or the connect notes then you have a setting section where you can set up your auto withdrawal setting you can blacklist the profile url keywords or the job title system will automatically remove those people from your sequences in your campaigns then you have the feature request section where you can request us some of the features or the suggestions you have in your mind and you and then you have a report a bug section if you have any issue coming up for you you can write down the, your bug details over here put on some screenshots send it over to us and we will be get back to you and happy to help you out do let me know if you have any question in the comments or you can always email us at support at the late thing camp .com. Thank you.